everyone, welcome back to Music Body Mind. My name is Amelia and I'm a trombonist and yoga teacher. Today I'm going to talk to you about the do's and don'ts of posture while playing the trombone. Posture is really important to us as musicians in order for us to create the best sound possible on our instrument. Correct posture also prevents you from experiencing those aches and pains that happen when our body is in incorrect alignment. I'll be walking you through a series of incorrect postures that I see all the time in trombonists and then showing you how to come into correct alignment from there. Let's get started. One of the most common reasons I see trombonists playing with incorrect posture is actually the music stand. Don't conform to your music stand. We play an instrument that needs lots of space, so don't sit or stand in a position that makes you compromise your posture or hit your stand with your slide. Instead, always adjust your music stand to fit your height and your instrument. You should be able to read your music at a comfortable eye level without bending forward. Your bell should never hide behind your stand. Direct your sound openly into the audience. Don't play with your bell pointing to the ground. This causes a lot of imbalance in your body. Do keep a really tall posture with your ears, shoulders, and hips in line with each other. Don't sink all of your weight into one leg and stick your hip out to the side. Instead, stand with both feet equally planted firmly on the ground right underneath your hips. Don't tilt your head to one side or the other. This usually happens when our music stand isn't in the right place and can cause a lot of strain and tension in your neck that will lead to greater issues down the road. Always make sure you keep your head aligned straight up and down. Don't jut your head forward to meet your mouthpiece. Do sit with a really tall posture and bring your mouthpiece all the way to you. Don't slouch your shoulders forward and cave your chest inward while playing the trombone. Instead, roll your shoulders back and down to keep your shoulders open. Don't slouch in your chair. I call this hammocking into the low back and it causes unnecessary strain on your lumbar spine. Do sit up tall with your ears stacked over your shoulders, stacked over your hips. The opposite of this happens when we roll forward onto our seat and stick our chest forward to overcorrect our posture. This overarch can cause a pinching feeling in your low back. Instead, focus on sitting with your weight balanced on both of your sit bones. Don't sit with your feet crossed underneath your chair or wrap your feet around your chair legs. Instead, sit with your feet flat on the ground, creating a 90 degree angle at the knees. Don't lift one shoulder higher than the other, especially in those outer slide positions. Instead, keep both shoulders down and relaxed. This one is subtle but important. Don't play with your elbow too high or too low. This creates a bend in the wrist that can cause a lot of wrist tension. Instead, make sure that you have a straight line of energy from your wrist all the way down to your elbow. You probably shouldn't sit like a monkey while playing the trombone, and I really, really don't recommend playing upside down either. I do, however, recommend playing in tree pose every once in a while to test your balance and core support. Unless you've been hired by the circus, don't play the trombone while balancing on a yoga wheel. I hope you enjoyed this video about trombone posture, and I hope it inspires you to be more mindful about your posture when you're playing the trombone. Exciting news, I am presenting Yoga for Trombonists at the International Trombone Festival this summer in Muncie, Indiana. So if you're attending the festival, I would love to see you there. Check out all the other Yoga for Musicians videos that I have posted on this channel, and like and subscribe to Music Body Mind so you can stay updated for all upcoming videos that I will post. Until next time, namaste. Okay.